Hi there everyone, we're going to be taking what you've already learned about functions and expanding on that just a little bit, dealing with some compound functions, functions with the, just a little more zest to them. First, three things I want you to remember. Find function values first, go ahead and substitute them in, and then solve. Don't forget to use the order of operations, of course. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the two functions, f of x equals x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared. We want to find f of 2 plus 6. First, let's focus in on our function value f of 2. If we wanted to find f of 2, remember, that basically means you're plugging 2 in for the x, and of course we'll use this f function because we have the f function here. So f of 2 is going to equal 2 plus 1, substituting in 2 for the x, that is going to give us a value of 3. Now, since we know that f of 2 equals 3, to evaluate our final function, all we need to do is plug that 3 in for our f of 2, giving us 3 plus 6, or a final value of 9. Perfect. So f of 2 plus 6 equals 3, the value of f of 2, plus 6, which is 9. Let's try g of 4 divided by 2. Now g of 4 is going to reference our g function right over here. So first let's focus in on that. If we wanted to find g of 4, we're plugging in 4 for our x value in our g function. That's going to be x squared or 4 squared, which is going to be 16. Just plugging in that 4 for our x. Now that we know the value of our g of 4, we could take that and plug that back in. That's going to give us 16 divided by 2, or a value of 8. Next up, we've got 2 times f of negative 3 minus g of 2. This time, we have two different function values that we need to account for. So let's go ahead and start with this f of negative 3. Now, f of negative 3 refers to our f function right here, so we're just going to plug negative 3 in for this x. That's going to be negative 3 plus 1, which is going to be a value of negative 2. Next, we also have to account for this g function, g of 2, which refers to our g function over here, x squared. So we're going to plug in 2 for our x squared. That's going to be g of 2 equals 2 squared... Again, plugging in 2 for x, and that gives us a value of 4. Now what we want to do is we can go ahead and take these values, f of negative 3. That's going to substitute all the way into the f of negative 3 here. That'll be 2 times, instead of f of negative 3, negative 2. And then we could do minus our g function which is g of 2 is 4, we plug that into our g of 2 there, minus 4, giving us an overall value of 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4 minus 4, which will be negative 8. So whenever you have a more complex situation, just go ahead and solve for each individual function first, then plug those ba both back in, then evaluate. 